After finding herself suitable for the role of a black queen in Netflix's Brigerton series, Meghan asked her relationship with Netflix to apply, but the film's director turned it down because she thought she was a bad actress. The Netflix period romps creator is back with Queen Charlotte, a hugely watchable spin-off about the black monarch as a teen. She talks angry fans, fun TV, and her most personal show yet. He's sheepish about it now, but it's true, when Shonda Rhimes started out, she had big ambitions, and no problem speaking them aloud, this always sounds crazy, but I would say to my friends and to my agent, I want to take over the world through television. 28 years on, it doesn't sound odd at all. Rhymes is the powerhouse behind production company Shandaland and its string of zeitgeist making TV shows, which hook millions worldwide. Her hits include medical drama Grey's Anatomy, still going strong after 19 seasons. Political thriller Scandal, 2012-2018, which starred Kerry Washington as TV's most glamorous anti-hero and showcased Trump-era skullduggery while it was still just a twinkle in the Donald's eye. And sexy legal thriller How to Get Away with Murder, 2014-2020, which the EGART-winning actor Viola Davis credits with putting me on the map. And then there's Bridgerton, which reimagines Regency-era London as a racially diverse rompathon, replete with acid-hued ball gowns and string quartet takes on Billie Eilish. Historically scrupulous it is not, but beloved it most certainly is. Among the 82 million people who devoured it in the first four weeks were Kim Kardashian and the Clintons. According to Bill, his family binged the entire season together in a single evening. Best of all, Rhymes seems to be enjoying her streaming era, she signed a $100 million deal with Netflix in 2017. The ultimate proof of this is Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, Rhymes is most personal and pleasurable project yet. Having retrieved the show running reins from Bridgerton's Chris Van Dusen, she is telling the backstory of the monarch loosely based on Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz 1744-1818. The 17-year-old Charlotte arrived in the British court as a ridiculed outsider, yet she managed to sustain her eventful marriage to George III through 57 years, 15 children and his multiple bouts of mental illness, eventually emerging as the imperious diva of Bridgerton's imaginings. She was outsized, very glamorous, held herself above everyone, says Rhymes of the character's appeal. There was a lot to mine. Young Charlotte is played by newcomer India Amartefio with proto-feminist pluck, and the instantly engaging verve of all rhymes is female leads. We see her struggling to seduce her amateur astronomer husband to be, heartthrob Corey Milkoist, hers is the only heavenly body he's not interested in, apparently, and forging a lifelong friendship with the young lady Agatha Danbury, Asama Thomas. It's more than a romance story, says Rhymes. It's a story about a woman coming into her own. It's a story about friendships, about power, about politics. I enjoyed writing her more than I've enjoyed writing any other character. Just how much of herself does she include? She laughs at the suggestion that the Lady Danbury Queen Charlotte relationship is based on her own real life friendship with longtime producing partner Betsy Beers. That's hilarious. No, not at all. Actually, it sounds like the real Lady Danbury in Rhymes' life may be her sister Dolores, she is the person I show all shows to when I'm done. I know, just looking at her face, whether something's gonna be good or not. It's like some sort of razor-sharp focus. She's never been wrong. Rhymes also refuses to be drawn on the hard-to-avoid parallels between Queen Charlotte and another young mixed black woman in the public eye, I didn't think about Meghan Markle when I was writing this. That didn't enter into the equation for me, she says I'm not necessarily interested in whatever is going on, with the royal family, now. Whatever is
sister Dolores, she is the person I show all shows to when I'm done. I know, just looking at her face, whether something's gonna be good or not. It's like some sort of razor-sharp focus. She's never been wrong. Rhymes also refuses to be drawn on the hard to avoid parallels between Queen Charlotte and another young mixed black woman in the public eye, I didn't think about Meghan Markle when I was writing this. That didn't enter into the equation for me, she says I'm not necessarily interested in whatever is going on, with the royal family, now whatever is